Yeah, on 7 Eyewitness News everywhere, and Sunday night we brought you the aftermath of this freak accident live on Facebook. State troopers say it appears 57-year-old David Rainey of Ontario had some kind of medical emergency before crashing his big rig into a house. Here is where the crash took place, just off the I-90 on Highland Parkway in Hamburg. It's really not far from the McKinley Mall, and neighbors could hear and feel the boom. 7 Eyewitness News reporter Ali Tui takes us there. Highland Parkway homeowners like Tom here had been standing outside Sunday night just before 8 o'clock when the otherwise unthinkable happened. We're looking at it. My wife says it's going to hit the house and I said no, there's no way it's going to make it. Next thing we know, we looked over here and it's coming down through the side just past the guardrail over here, coming right straight through the house. The tractor trailer hit the house and the shed in the backyard before coming to a stop. Colleen Gerke lives next door from where it happened. I was home alone and then I just suddenly hear this big boom. Not like a crash, but more of like a boom, like thunder. The whole house shook and I was just like, what was that? Authorities believe the driver, 57-year-old David Rainey of Owen Sound, Ontario, suffered a medical emergency which caused him to veer off the road. The homeowner didn't want to go on camera, but he tells 7 Eyewitness News he is at least relieved no one in his family was home at the time of the crash. And now he isn't allowed back inside. The town of Hamburg posting these do not enter signs on the property because the structure isn't safe. The homeowner tells me repairs could take six to eight months. Insurance adjusters are expected at the home Tuesday. The owner hopes all damages are covered. Meantime, neighbors like Colleen Gerke feel for the homeowner impacted by all of this. But she also hasn't stopped thinking about the driver who died in the crash. I feel terrible for him. In Hamburg, Allie Tui, 7 Eyewitness News.